Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another morning with Proverbs. It is Friday, and as we try to do on a Friday, we try to bless you with a morning with Proverbs that will take you over the weekend, obviously, uh, for the break that we have until Monday. So for those who are new to this, this is where we share a short two-minute video sharing from the Book of Wisdom, otherwise known as the Book of Proverbs, written by the wisest king that ever lived, King Solomon, who asked God for one thing. God gave him a request, said, ask me anything. And Solomon asked and says, you know, please just give me your wisdom and your knowledge so I know how to live this life and to be successful in this life. Okay, so that's why we have the book of Proverbs, so we can share in that wisdom. So let's get into this. For those obviously who are taking notes, we're reading from chapter 15, verse 4, and it reads this. The tongue that brings healing is a tree of life, but a deceitful tongue crushes the spirit. What does that mean? I want to take you to a film called The Pursuit of Happiness. Okay, Will Smith plays the actor in here and he's the father of a son and he's playing basketball with his son and they're shooting hoops. But then after a while he turns around to his son and he says, look, son, I'm going to go to work and I don't want you playing this game all afternoon. I don't want you wasting your time because you're going to be like me. You're going to be someone who, you know, who won't be able to make it as a basketball player. So I don't want you wasting your time. Then the camera shoots over to his son and you can see the, the look of despondency on his son who's just been crushed by the words that his, that his father had spoke. Will Smith realizes right then, you know what, I have just crushed my son's spirit. So he flips his words and he says, son, don't let anybody, not even me, tell you that you cannot be the very best. To tell you that you cannot be all that you can be, whether that be a basketball star or whatever. Okay, what can we learn from this? Understand that Will Smith in that one moment could either crush his son's life or he could speak life. Unfortunately, too many of us speak death into people's lives. Okay, instead of giving them words of encouragement, we give them words of death. But I want to encourage you with something else on this. For those who are watching this video, if you've never had words of encouragement spoken to you about your life, I want you to hear the words from God. God says, for each and every one of you that are watching this, you are beautifully and wonderfully made. I don't care if someone's told you you're ugly. I don't care if someone's told you you're stupid. I don't care if someone told you you'd never make it. I don't care if someone told you that you'll never make it because you never got five GCSEs to school. God says that you are beautifully and wonderfully made. Those are words of encouragement and words of life that God wanted to bring you this morning. But also I want to tell you this, that what God said. The words that he spoke, not what the world speaks, which is negative, but God says, I had a purpose for you even before you were created in your mother's womb. So every one of you is watching this. Before you was even created in your mother's womb, God had a purpose for you. So the thing is, this morning, go out there and be blessed. This weekend, think about that. I want you to disregard every negative word that someone spoke over your life. And I want you to remember this. You are beautifully and wonderfully made. And God who made the whole universe knew you and says, I have got a purpose for you to do great things through you. So go out there and be blessed this morning. Have a great weekend. And as we always say with Jen Hope, God's gift to us is life. What you do with that life is that I give back to God. So go and live it 100%. God bless you and see you soon. Bye-bye.